here are some information value um, attributes that we want to start thinking about inside our business when we come to consider the value of these outputs that we create that allow us to deliver these business outcomes. So there are some ob objective and subjective um, uh, categorizations and thought processes here, right from what's the validity of the data? Uh, is, it, um, is it well represented? Is it complete? Uh, do I have 100% of this record uh, held inside my, my system? Is it consistent? Um, if I compare one set with another set, is, can, I, can I see that there is that consistency has been applied in, in capture and storage? Um, how unique is it? Uh, is this something that provides my organization with a, a business advantage? Um, am I going to be able to do something new in the marketplace and have that competitive advantage? Um, is it accessible and timely? So can decision makers access the content in the right way at the right time in order to support their decision? Is it scarce? So how many processes uh, does this um, help uh, um, to deliver inside the organization? Is it interpretable? Uh, is it believable? So these are these are all things that we need to start considering, um, and you can you can obviously pick from these. You can combine these in order to start thinking about what does information value really mean inside the organisation. But there's the other side of the ledger as well as value. We have to consider information as a liability. Uh, when we hold this content inside the organisation, you know, obviously it, it it needs to be managed effectively, and and we see things like the General Data Protection Regulation (GDPR) in in Europe um, having huge impact right the way through the the world because we have customers in Europe, and that's helping us really focus in on well, we are storing private and personal information about our customers. Are we protecting that? Um, what happens if it, there is a data breach or a data loss. You know what happens if one of my employees does leave their laptop on the train, and we've seen that happen too many times. Um, does its scarcity mean that it has a high market value? Therefore, it's going to be a target for theft. Uh, might my reputation be impacted if this content is lost? Um, might I suffer a regulatory penalty because I haven't met some legislative requirement within my organisation? So all of these, all of these conversations, both from a value and a liability perspective help us consider the, the people, the work and the systems that are enabling the flow of information through the organization as part of our digital twin model. These help us really focus in on the things that we must do inside the organization to maintain the value of this asset. Uh, this topic is being wrapped up um, in the term infonomics, which is all about the measurement, the management and the monetization of information. There's a great book called Infonomics on the subject written by Doug Laney, who was a, a Gartner analyst. He now works for Caserta Consultancy based in New York. Um, I thoroughly recommend it if you are really interested in how to start considering information as an asset inside the organization, which will help you put some new governance structure around that content as part of this overall process.